This is Eastbourne, a wonderful place to visit. Come and explore the unique history and culture with me. This is Redoubt Fortress and it says in my guidebook here that it's just one of three forts that was built to defend the southern coastline of Britain during the Napoleonic Wars, the beginning of the 19th century. From up here on the ramparts you get a great view of the circular fortress down below and on a clear day you also get a great view of the shoreline. Just imagine what it must have been like. During wartime there are about 250 soldiers stationed here protecting our coastline with less than a dozen of these cannons. Just outside Eastbourne is Mitchellum Priory and this stunning building is surrounded by a moat it's actually the longest medieval water-filled moat in England and it protected this site for centuries. However, it didn't manage to protect it during Henry VIII's dissolution of the monasteries when it was inherited by Thomas Cromwell. The Priory dates back to 1229 and not only does it have a lot of history, but it also has the reputation of being one of the most haunted buildings in Sussex. From somewhere old to a building that represents the modern heart of Eastbourne. The Observer newspaper described the Towner Gallery as one of the most creative and brilliantly run institutions in visual arts anywhere. It's open all year round and it hosts major exhibitions of British and international contemporary art. It's a beautiful place and it's also the perfect place to get on a bike and cycle the coastal cultural trail connecting galleries along the east coast of Sussex. This wonderful bandstand dates back to the 1930s and it's an iconic landmark here on the seafront. It evokes images of big bands playing their hearts out. But it's not just big bands that play here, there are over 140 different concerts and events held here every year, as some of them can be really spectacular.